All right, we're looking at open threats now being made in Bangladesh against Hindus. Minorities there facing huge uh, attacks and threats from the local Islamists there. Barely two months after the fall of Sheikh Hasina's government in Bangladesh, extremists out in the streets threatening the Hindu community, asking for Islamic rule to prevail there. As Durga Puja fast approaches, radical Islamic groups have warned Bangladesh's Hindu minority to not to openly celebrate the festival, stating that it's the land of Muslims, that they'll land in trouble if at all they celebrate Durga Puja. Hindus were also asked to leave the country if they plan to protest against them and don't abide by the rules. Organizations banned for anti-national activities are now out in the open, demanding Sharia law to be imposed and implemented in Bangladesh. Where are you from uh, in Bangladesh? Sir, I am from Bangladesh. Uh, Chattagong. Chattagong. So, uh, we have seen on uh, September 2nd week, there was a protest by Hindu groups when uh, uh, they were demanding safety, security, freedom of to celebrate Durga Puja. What has changed after that protest in Chittagong? So actually, they are uh, not uh, so actually, they are not having any change in Chittagong. I want to read a script about this. Okay. Uh, Namaste, I am speaking from Bangladesh. Last 13 September, Bangladeshi Hindu are given 8 point demands to the government of Bangladesh. And we are request to the government of Bangladesh take action quickly to save Bangladeshi Hindu. Uh, but the government did not take any action uh, till September 13, 30. On the other hand, the government gifted the Hindus uh, in Bangladesh by their obedient fundamentalist organization and movement coordinators who uh, they are trying to say who's uh, those who are protesting in uh, sorry those who are protesting in front of chitagong press club hindu leader and journalist uh, we want to warning you you don't pro you don't protest in uh, in you don't protest in in front of press club. Tum tumara uh, tum shop kuch lekar yahan se bhag jao. Run away, run away, run away, run away quickly. Your father have fled. Your grandfather have also fled. Your supported government Sheikh Hasina has also fled. So you they were so they quickly. were basically threatening you to leave this country and do not protest in front of press club. All the Hindus in Bangladesh. All Hindus in Bangladesh. And uh, exactly when these uh, fundamentalists on the stage, when they said do not protest, we also see the videos now, This, uh, you know, the fundamentalists are saying uh, there should not be Durga Puja, they are obstructing the festival. So what is the situation currently of the Hindus living in, uh, in Bangladesh and particularly those who are living in the uh, dominated areas of jamaat islami and other radical groups like in Chittagong, in Khulna and others? Here in Bangladesh, every day they attack Durga uh, Punja Mandap. Uh, uh, they, uh, yesterday, they killed Shorab Sarkar, 21 in Kulna, uh, in Kulna. And they forcefully convert the Hindus in Islam. Uh, um, 20 September, Kakrachuri, Rangamati's hill track, mm. seven tribal were killed by radical mm. attack in mm. fundamentalists. In fundamental, fundamentalists. So, how do you going to celebrate the Durga Puja festival amidst this kind of situation in Bangladesh? Is there a sense of fear? Sir, actually, uh, actually, there is no way to um, um, to. Uh, sir, actually, I am. Are, are you going to police? Are you have you filed complaint to the police? Are you requesting police and yes, government to help yes. you? There are huge complaints, but they do not take any action. Actually, they are they, they can't do anything because the fundamentalists uh, they are very very uh, critical, and they are very uh, they are actually they are very very critical. So, is there sense of fear in the Hindus that uh, this could be a trouble time for festival celebration during Durga Puja? We can't celebrate Durga Puja uh, in in. in in open public place, uh, we um, if we want to try, if we want to celebrate, that can be um, we can um, eat. 
So you hearing this is one of the person from Chittagong district of Bangladesh. Uh, he's live with us speaking to us. We have to maintain the anonymity. His identification cannot be disclosed since we are keeping classified. We are not disclosing his identity because that will lead to threat to his life. Probably the fundamentalist will kill this person. He's explaining the situation. There is open threat being given to the Hindus leave this country uh, the government that was supporting to you which is sheikh hasina has left you also leave do not protest since the fundamentals are already opposing the durga puja they now he's asking hindus do not even resist those protests this is alarming situation for the minority hindus in bangladesh with ajay kumar this is ashutosh mishra for india today all right, I'm going to bring in Ashutosh Mishra on this story. Ashutosh, you've spoken to uh, one of those victims seemingly who claims that the Hindus are extensively being threatened, targeted, persecuted. Uh, give us more on the preparedness or what kind of measures at all that the interim government in Bangladesh are taking to ensure that the minorities are safe. Now imagine the plight and this magnitude of the kind of violence is unleashed against the minorities in Bangladesh. The people are even afraid to file a complaint. They are even afraid to speak to media. In fact, this person who was speaking, narrating the pain about the situation, uh, he knows that if identity is revealed, probably he'll be killed in less than 24 hours. Even the numbers, if you say on 20th September, when the tribals were killed uh, uh, by the extremist group, on 25th September in Kulna, another uh, Hindu man was killed, uh, a teacher, who just objected on these protests against Durga Puja. Only on the social media posts, the radicals pressurized the institution and the authorities and she was she has been dismissed from the service. So it is going to be nearly two months what it started in Bangladesh from 5th of August after Sheikh Hasina's exit and uh, despite new regime formed and the choice of government they formed by the so-called uh, student movements. What we see is actually the rise of the uh, extremist group the radical group, those organizations who were banned during Sheikh Hasina regime, now since the ban is lifted, they are having an open walk across Bangladesh, particularly in those districts which have been dominated by Jamaat and other radical groups of Bangladesh. Now virtually there are protests happening against Durga Puja. They are putting out conditions. In Kulna they are seeking extortion money in 5 lakh Bangladeshi taka if, uh, to have to uh, celebrate Durga Puja. And moreover, uh, these Hindu communities and the committee members, other, they are not even ready to file complaint to the police because they know their details will be in open and probably there will be repercussion and consequences of filing complaints. So in Dhaka there are protests literally happening when the groups are saying no to Durga Puja celebration, they have put out a condition do not renounce public holidays of Durga Puja since it's Islamic country. Students, young students from high school carrying out protests that either Sharia law or martyrdom. Uh, we don't need a secular or a Bang Bandhu identity of Bangladesh. So kind of the landscape, the political landscape and social landscape uh, is changing in Bangladesh. This is literally threatening an alarming situation, particularly for minorities when they are gearing up, preparing for one of the biggest festivals Bangladesh. So Bengalis, be in West Bengal or Bangladesh or any other part of. This is the biggest festival of uh, Bang Bangla speaking people when Durga Puja comes. And kind of situation we're seeing alarming uh, despite all the assurance by the authorities. Dr. Yunus in United States interview saying uh, the regime has changed. Now there is uh, no persecution to minorities, no persecution to, to the politicians. But what we we'll see on the ground, this situation is exactly contrary to what Dr. Yunus said. In fact, my phone, number of messages, SOS messages that I'm receiving from Bangladesh, exactly. Either they are being openly threatened, they are being even said, do not even protest. You don't have a freedom of expression. You don't have freedom to uh, express yourself. You don't have freedom to celebrate your festival. And this is happening in so-called New Bangladesh. Ashutosh, terribly heartbreaking considering that uh, Hindus all this while had freedom to practice their religion in a, in a country like Bangladesh. And now we see after Sheikh Hasina was literally driven out of that country, all the uh, Islamists who were underground have all surfaced now, unleashing terror in that country. Thanks very much for joining us.